In 2019, the city will be constructing an artificial reef as part of the Palm Beach Shoreline Project. This complements the beach nourishment works that were completed in 2017, where we saw a large dredge delivering some pretty spectacular sand rainbows to the shore of Palm Beach. The Palm Beach Artificial Reef will be built using large rock boulders weighing up to 8 tonnes each and will be located approximately 270 metres offshore from 19th Avenue. It will be 160 metres long and up to 80 metres wide, which means it would almost cover the Metricon Stadium football field. The artificial reef at its highest point will sit one and a half metres below the average water level. Palm Beach is one of the Gold Coast's most vulnerable beaches to the threat of coastal erosion. Many swell events, past and present, have resulted in the loss of beach amenity, exposure of seawalls and threatened homes and public infrastructure. So how will the reef help with combating coastal erosion? Well, here on the Gold Coast, sand naturally moves north along the coast as a result of the predominant southeasterly wave direction. This innovative underwater structure will influence the surrounding waves and currents to temporarily slow the northern transport of sand around the reef. This will hold the additional sand delivered through the previous beach nourishment works for longer and promote a long-term increase in sand along vulnerable sections of Palm Beach. Once the sand has moved beyond the reef, it will naturally continue to move up the coast. Now, here is the part that may cause some confusion. A lot of the increase in sand will be located just offshore and not necessarily always visible to beach users. But rest assured this sand will act as a buffer to protect Palm Beach from future erosion events, ensuring everyone can continue to enjoy their beach experience. While the main purpose of the reef is for coastal protection, the city understands how important surfing is to our culture and lifestyle. Surfing has been kept in mind when designing the reef, and under certain swell conditions, there is predicted to be waves breaking on the reef suitable for intermediate surfers. So how do you design a reef? It's not just a simple pile of rocks. Coastal engineering projects of this nature are complex and challenging. The city has worked with a team of world-class experts in coastal engineering to develop the best possible solution specific to Palm Beach. Significant investigation and effort has gone into the design, including computer modelling, wave tank testing and real-life coastal data analysis. Some pretty impressive marine construction vessels will be used to build the artificial reef between May and October in 2019. Tugboats and split hopper barges will transport the rocks from Brisbane to Palm Beach, where they will be placed on the seafloor. A backhoe dredger will then accurately move the rocks into position using GPS technology to ensure the structure is built to the specific design. While the reef is being built, there will be an exclusion zone around the offshore construction area to keep the public safe. Our beaches are our greatest natural asset and we are always working hard to protect them. The Palm Beach Shoreline Project is part of the Ocean Beaches Strategy, ensuring our beaches are clean, healthy, safe and accessible now and into the future.